cover art for Based Crossbow on the Exidy for the Arcade Atari 2600 game, K284. Crossbow serves up an early first-person shooter. The arcade original used a crossbow-shaped light gun and the Atari 7800 and XE versions of the game supported the Atari XG1 light gun bundled with the XE console within the game. Stay tuned. We're going to learn about the Atari 2600 versions and the Atari 7800 and XE version of the video game Crossbow and its great artwork in just a few minutes on Video Gamers Oasis on TikTok. How's it going? It's your lovable, uh, irresistibly kissable host, Jeremy, back again on Video Gamers Oasis on TikTok. Welcome back to the show. It's an ongoing uh, series. I hope you're having a good weekend so far. Um, we had uh, In Canada, we had something called uh, Remembrance Day for the Fallen Soldiers of Canada. And Americans are probably having an American version of that. And so I wish a lot of uh, peace and happiness for your families. And... Um, Thanks so much for your service, all of you folks. We're continuing to read uh, the book Art of Atari by Tim Lutino. Previously we learned about Mark Erickson, of artist profile. Now we're going to be continuing on. Page 284, Crossbow for the Atari 2600, Atari 7800, and Atari XE. That's what we'll focus on. I'm sure there are other versions that, the, that this game title was on. We're focusing on those. And we're going to focus on the great artwork as well. So pull up a pull up a chair, pull up your favorite beverage, relax, and uh, let's listen to um, me flap my gums for a while, reading this interesting trivia for all those who are interested. Send some likes and love if you like what you see so far, and follow me on TikTok, and subscribe to my YouTube channel, Video Gamers Voices. On with the show. Here's a inflated uh, close up of the game thumbnail, Crossbow. Crossbow, based on the Exidy arcade game, Crossbow serves up an early first person, pardon me, I slur my word there, first person shooter, wherein the player protects a band of wandering adventurers as they cross a series of different medieval terrains by shooting obstacles enemies, and other distractions. The arcade original used a crossbow-shaped light gun and the Atari 7800 and XE versions of the game supported the Atari XG-1 light gun, bundled with the XE console within the game. While backwards compatibility allowed the XG-1 game, or pardon me, gun, to work in a limited number of Atari 2600 games, this wasn't one of them. So here we have a thumbnail of the game. Pretty straightforward. It's a yellow, golden yellow screen with a black bar on the bottom. There's a magenta bar on the left and a green, a lime green or Moss green bar on the right, bottom of the screen uh, below that reads crossbow and white. And on the yellow screen, we have a character. He looks like Robin Hood in the video game. He's wearing green, sort of like the green arrow as well from the DC comics. And uh, he, there seems to be different locations. It, it's interesting. It's almost like, it looks like almost like a precursor of Super Mario Brothers 3 with different lo locations that he can explore. On the top, there's like a desert area with some green uh, cacti. On the, below that, there's a, 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 an erupting volcano. And below that, to the left, there's a castle with someone with a knight standing on top of the castle. To the right of that, we see some kind of stone tablet or something surrounded by an island or something. And on the, above that, we see like a, some green trees and some water. And above that appears to be a brown cave. So I'm not, I'm not overly familiar with how this video game works. But if you have this video game on your Atari 2600, Atari 7800, XG, 5200 as well, if you have that game uh, on your machine, do some gameplay videos on TikTok or YouTube. I will send some likes and love your way because I do enjoy uh, revisiting 
these uh, old games. It's really fun to to see how games were back then. Uh, it's much simpler than the complicated games that they are today. But uh, yeah, do some gameplay videos and I'll send some likes of Love Your Wake. I do enjoy all the TikTokers who do these retro games uh, game games on, on this uh, vehicle. I think it's great they do that. Please continue what you're doing. Please continue uh, supporting the retro game collections and continue uh, revisiting these games. These are awesome. Thanks so much for your support in this regard. Let's move on back to the artwork. Okay, so the description for this, um, there's a description, this is a close up of the artwork actually on the page. Page 284. Description reads Cover art for Crossbow, Atari 2600. There's no uh, artist list listed here. That's strange. I don't know why they wouldn't uh, give any credit to the artist. Anyways, we have um, top of the screen. It's your standard fantasy sword and sorcery kind of adventure game. There's a bat on the top left corner. And a, on the right corner, there's a steaming hot dragon ready to breathe some fire uh, on the hero below. I like the, the, by the way, I like the text here. The nice font of the text has a nice weird kind of style. There's an air black bat and a tarantula and a castle on the other side of the page. And here we have the hero. He 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 looks a lot like a cross between Robin Hood and the Green Arrow from DC Comics. He's wearing green. He's wearing a leather a leather vest over his green suit. He's got he's got orangey hair and a mustache. He's got a sword in his right hand, ready for battle. I don't see any crossbow in his hand though. I find that unusual. And again, there's like a, there's a spider with an arrow in its back. So he's been battling some giant uh, creepy crawlers. And below the hero is a beautiful fair maiden, beautiful lady, uh, black uh, crow crow colored. Uh, what do you want? What's the word? Raven hair. That's the word I'm looking for. With a gold earring, or she's got her hand on her right hand on her forehead. She's got a beautiful leather uh, toga on, with a belt buckle and a dagger uh, in a holster on the her left side of her leg and uh, below that there's a pierced um, on her left side there's a man with a, a mustache he seems to be shorter than the average dude I'm not going to judge him or call him what he is but he's a shorter man with an axe and he seems to be I don't know if he's going to attack the Google girl or he's on, he's on her side if she's a, an ally or not and on the right side of the woman's leg, there is a serpent, a, serp, a hissing serpent, a giant python, or maybe an anaconda, trying to swallow that beautiful lady up. Who knows what, what's on, on that snake's mind. And below the lady's uh, right foot is some mushrooms, a golden brown mushroom, a green and brown with white polka dots, or a white mushroom, and a treasure chest with some gold coins outside, uh, dangling out of the, of the treasure chest. So it's a lot of... Beautiful comic book uh, cartoon, almost like a Dungeons & Dragons imagery. A very, um, yeah, almost like, a, I'm thinking um, heavy metal almost style. Maybe not as, as brazen or bold, but it definitely has sort of a 1970s, 80s uh, cartoon uh, for more mature audiences look to it. And there you have it. That's Crossbow for the Atari 2600. And that was our reading, folks. I'm not going to uh, flap my gums for much longer. I know some of you may be getting tired, but thanks so much for tuning in. Uh, that was Crossbow for the Atari 2600 on page 284. Tune in next time. We're going to learn about Food Fight for the Atari 2600 on page 285. I hope you'll tune in for that uh, continuing saga. We're getting so close to the end of this book, folks. I want to get to the end of the book as much as you do, so I appreciate your patience as I, get, I slog through all this trivia content send some likes send some love subscribe follow all that jazz if you feel inclined subscribe to my youtube channel video gamers oasis i love you take care of yourselves stay physically fit motivated and positive and may find peace within bye for now have a great weekend